Thursday. We're at the Jetties. I got old Ed here. And we got a fish out on him. Nice back. Nice back first fish. His first second drift. Right? Second drift. First thing in the morning. Who let the dogs out? Are they back? We don't know. I'm fishing the next four days. Two days with Ed. Then a day with Aaron and somebody of his. And then the next day with Aaron and Noah. His little son, seven years old. And I'm going to hit the highlights here. It's kind of bumpy, hard to stand up in the boat this morning, but that's what we're going to see in this video is nothing but the highlight. Alrighty folks, we finally got a bite on a blue crab. While I was pouring a drink into my my cup on the ferry wand, and he's smoking some drug. I hope it's a drum. I do not want a redfish, oversized redfish. Come on, be a black drum and go in the damn box, not these damn redfish. Or as as Ed calls them, spot times. Spot. Up there, he's a Carolina boy. Be a black drum. Be a black drum. Black drum have been avoiding me. Big ones have been avoiding me like I have a disease this year. No, it's a god dang redfish. Son of a bitch. He's probably going to be too big. Oh, yeah. There we go. Alright, dude. He's way too big to keep. There he is. <laughs> Just what we don't want. We want something for the box. We got them yellow mouse. Let's see how big he is. 28? Ah, uh, no. He's like 32 inches. Okay, 32 inches, folks. And there he goes. Oh, okay. Little video. Little video for a little spot tail, as Ed calls it. Yeah. Spot tail. Spot tail. He just thinks he's nice. Oh, it's another puppy. Tail. Thought he was. But I'll tell you, boy, I'll tell you, if there was an eating one right there, I would fill the damn cooler. Oh, that's came, the best eating one right, right there. there. I would fill the cooler full of these things. Okay, Mr. Blue Crab, bring me a dream. Oh, yeah? Got this one ounce homemade jig, and we're gonna take that and we're gonna bury it into Mr. Crab. And stick the point of the hook out like that, and hope for the best. All right, me and Ed are up in the cove, trolling incoming tide soft plastics behind the boat to see if we can find some trout schools and uh, we'll see this uh, there's supposed to be a tractor trailer that done fell in the water up here 
I fell off the Dames Point Bridge and it's sitting up here. I think I see it in front of us. Where it fell off the bridge. There's the bridge. And I think it's up there ahead of us. Well, I think they're going to leave it here because they can't get up in here with a barge or something yet to get it. But that must have been quite traumatic. We're going to troll all around in here in this incoming tide and see what we can find. All right, you're not. Nobody going to get out and see if they're all right. You probably can't see it, but here we are trolling along the Dames Point Bridge, and there's a blue car right up there that just rolled this way, down the bridge five times at least. See that guy up there? I don't know if you can see him. Yep. You come along here, man, you're gonna see some shit. Right up here where there's that cement truck and that blue car, that thing just rolled on its side like five times. And Ed's caught on what? bottom the bottom this is unbelievable folks that was that was better than a Disney World ride that what he just did if that was him I turned around to look forward and I saw that car flipping through the air I'm telling you I don't know how the hell that does how how does that shit happen to people how does how the hell do you flip a car going down a bridge hell one guy there is a guy down there that stopped and he's walking towards them. That was insane. It looked like god dang NASCAR. <laughs> and we ain't caught shit yet. We're still trolling along here. Oh, there's the trailer. That fell off the bridge. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. But there's a trailer full of bottled waters that literally launched itself right off the bridge. So, now look at the traffic. Guy's car is toast. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Keep a trout! Keep a trout! All right, we gave up on the trolling. Now we're up in the power lines in Mill Cove. Hold up that dead, dead trout there, Ed. Yep, that, that's a keeper. That's an inshore sheephead. Come on! Ooh, good hook set. All right. All right. Ed got another. Another one for the box. All right. First fish out with Aaron and Chris. <laughs> Day three. Oh, Mr. Bonnet Head. You know, we got a saying everything's better with a brown bonnet on it. <laughs> You know, I've caught these 16, 18 pounds, and I'll take these just as, as easy as redfish. Yeah. You know? Look at it. You hooked them in his bonnet. Right on the, yep. Yeah. That's weird. Oh, don't <laughs> oh no, don't look at him. Look at him. He's getting tangled in your lanyard. Let me give you a, give you a hand. <laughs> yeah, I should just take that off, I guess. All right. My turn. Everything's better with a brown bonnet on it. All right. <laughs> My turn. Oh, geez. This is day three. Day three. Had Ed for two days. Now I got Aaron and Chris. And then tomorrow morning, I got maybe, maybe Aaron's wife and definitely Little Noah, the kangaroo kid. <laughs> and we're going to troll for bluefish, I hope, tomorrow morning. Just so he can uh, reel something in for a change. There's got to be something better than a damn bonnet head out here. There you go. All right. You're up. Over. Batter up. Okay, we're catching whiting. <laughs> and then we have the two rods out the back of the boat here for the black drum with crab on it. 
And the only thing we've got on them so far is a little uh, small shark. So we're biding our time here, waiting on the stud. It's so exciting. Okay. Aaron's got a big old white lens. That's, that's, that's a strapping bastard. Come on. <laughs> hey oh. Or as we were calling them the other day, we were calling them we were calling them uh white white drum. <laughs> white drum. Since we didn't catch any drum. <laughs> All right, Forrest Scott here. This here is one of them leopard whitelings. It's grandpappy whiteling. <laughs> no, actually, that's a white king for everybody who doesn't know. And we're dropping down with big Magambo dead scrimp. We cut the head off, and it's got all the schmutz in there. Ooh, look at the schmutz coming out. Throw the head over, cut the tail, and just put little pieces out there. Yeah, he's on. And these whitelings are just eating it up. I call them whitelings. Here's how you unhook these some bitches. You get yourself any old bent piece of wire. You go like this. You go. Bloop. And then what it does is it goes down. I've showed this before. And it's getting in the crotch of the hook, and then you flip, and he comes right on. Any bent piece of wire, yeah. and they sell, they sell these fancy fish flippers. <laughs> Hell, this is a little hand gaff with a scale on it. Right here's a scale. <laughs> I got these off of eBay for like two bucks a piece, so I got two of them, and hmm. I would use them as a fish fish flipper. That's a good you, deal. If you're not careful, this comes around and gets you right in the fingers, and boy, it's done it to me. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's called the voice of experience, folks. <laughs> All right, day four, and I got the entire March family on the boat. Aaron was just on the boat yesterday with his friend Chris when we were catching those whiting on a failed big drum trip, and now we're trolling for. Anything that bites planers and spoons. And unless you're from around here, you don't know probably even what it is. I got another video about it, but we refer to it as dragging the hardware. And what we look for is fish that are going to strike a little spoon on a planer that takes it down, down deep. And you go real fast, make a lot of turns. And after we get a, if we get a couple bites, I uh, will show the whole planer and spoon setup and how it works. Bluefish are kind of the green scourge. We don't necessarily eat them, but it would be nice to catch just something for him to reel on. All right, we got one. I think it's a blue. I think it's a baby blue. It's a baby blue. And then he's got to stop when that planer comes up to the back of the boat. We'll see when it comes to stop. Yeah, right. It's a little bit further. A little bit further. Until it comes up out of the water. All right. Spanish mackerel. Okay, you caught one, Noah. That's a Spanish. You got one. Targeted species. That's what we're looking for. He was fun, wasn't he, bud? Yeah. All right. Oh I gotta, my God! I gotta, Look at his teeth. Yeah, they have teeth. The boat. They're so little, but. Yep. We just caught a Spanish mackerel. Look at that bite. First Spanish mackerel of the year, day four in a row. All right, we got one. Yeah, we just need five more to go. Five? We had a buzz 
bunch of whiting yesterday. I mean a bunch. I don't know, like 30, 30 of them. Um, see, now what happens here is this planter digs down. There's a mono leader and there's a spoon on the end. And what we do is we buzz around in circles and when the fish hits the little spoon, it pops the planer and it drives the fish to the surface and he just reels them in. Yeah, guys. He's watching right now. Yeah, somebody's watching you. Uh, yeah. Yep, blue fish. Yay! Little, little blue fish. Get the death grip hook on them. All right, in the fish bag you go. <laughs> no one wants to tell you something. You too. It's been so long. We have seven fish. You got how many? Seven. He's got seven. And my dad here is putting one in here and that's seven. That makes I seven. Yes, we just passed an ocean sunfish, a mola mola, laying on the, on the surface. Yeah, we just passed him. He was laying right on the surface. Okay, I'm marking them. They're just, they're, they're, they're stacked up behind the boat here. Yeah, we have eight fish, which is really good, and we're going to have a good dinner. <laughs> Alright, this is what the bottom looks like. That's how deep it is around here. It's a hole in the earth in which the St. St. John's River gets filled up with ocean water. And I was literally marking the Spanish. Thick as fleas right in here. 84 feet. There we go. That's a good one. Okay, you gotta show that one to the camera, Aaron. There we go. Hey oh! That's a nice Spaniard. Spanish back roll for dinner. And they even get bigger than that. But that's a good pre that's a good first first dragon right here. Oh, he doing, was barely hooked. We're doing the dragon of him. Twenty! Twenty! Nope, nope. You had twenty of them? Oh my gosh, look at all those I'll, Spanish I'll mackerel. Oh my goodness gracious. No, go stand by your fish. Yeah. There you go, buddy. There you go. There you, oh, stand back over there. Dave wants to get you. I want to get a, get a, okay. And what I want to do is I'm going to take a picture now too. <laughs> 